Hi, I'm Yvette, Yvette Williamson, and I'm a teacher at the Kansas City School of Metaphysics. And the lesson that I chose uh, to do my talk on is lesson 5A, learning how to learn. So I think as a lot of people know, you know, I, I went through cycle one uh, twice. And uh, I've hit this lesson a number of times as a teacher. And I must say that every time I go over this lesson, it hits different. You know, I think that's called the going deeper in the lessons. That's, you know, my experience of going deeper. When I first came across this lesson, I, in all honesty, felt like it was a crock. It was a lot of flowery words that, uh, I don't know, it's for somebody else. It really wasn't for me. But here is my take. You know, that has since changed. And here's my take on learning how to learn. And I'm going to give you the quick and dirty. I only have 10 minutes here. So. Learning how to learn. How do you learn how to learn? And in a nutshell, it's finding the good or finding the lesson in any situation. That's it in a nutshell, and it sounds simple. But how do you go about doing that? You know, how do you find the good in something that hurts, you know, something that's traumatic. You know, there are lighter things out there and they're easy. They're easy to find the good in that, you know. Probably could have communicated that a little bit better, but something that just really hurts and just hurts so much that you don't even know how to look at the situation. And here's how you do it. The first thing this lesson talks about is how to think positively. And for somebody like me, especially when I first came <clears throat> into the school, I, I didn't even realize that was something you could teach. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you had it or you didn't, you know, or, you know, you would pray to a God outside of yourself and one, one day it would just drop in your lap. But you think positively. And how do you do that? <clears throat> well, you start <laughs> with anything by knowing what you're working with. You know, you are working with this thing called the ego. And this ego is our sense of identity, our sense of self, you know, who we are. And it's comprised and it's made up of all the beliefs <laughs> that you've accumulated probably since birth. You know, the, the gut level stuff that's running so automatic that you don't even think about it. You don't even think that that's, that's a belief because it's just the way things are. So all of those, all of that makes up the actual physical view, who you are, who we are. The main job of the, of the ego it's really motivation. But the ego tends to color things. It's kind of a protective it colors things so that you can look at it. But it's it is a motivator and it motivates either through inspiration. You know, I can do that. You know, I want that. I, I can do that. Yeah. And a lot of times it motivates through pain. It's a, it's a double-edged sword. So here's the next thing you do. You, the lesson talks about feelings. And it's the, the attachment of these feelings to whatever your situation is. When we can learn to take and separate feelings and actually look at what's going on, we learn to take the sting out of the situation. You know, we, we can lessen the anger, the resentments, the jealousy, the envy, 
you know, the whatever it was and actually look at the situation for what it is. Then it talks about forgiveness. <laughs> and that's where the real change begins. Because the most important part of it is forgiveness of self. You know, can you forgive yourself for missing the mark? For messing this up? For not winning? Can you learn to, to wipe the slate clean and just start over again? Pick yourself up, dust it off, start over again. And not berate ourselves, not lower our sense of self-worth, which then causes us to give up. We have to remember that every situation of what we call failure is just non learning And we don't even know a lot of times that that's what the problem is here. We're not learning. So as we start to practice these things, you know, that forgiveness is going to take away that, I think the lesson calls it a sense of revenge. It, you know, it took me a long time to figure out what that meant, that sense of revenge. But that is the self-berating, you know, that comes from, again, missing the mark. So when you find yourself or when we find ourselves in that, those repetitious situations, you know, in situations where my temper is going to flare. Can I catch it? In situations where you find, <laughs> where you find yourself in a different job, still working with the same people, different faces though. Your arch nemesis has followed you to this job via another person, or you've got the same jerk of a boss. When you find yourself in the same relationship, it's just a different person. What did I not know? And you can start asking yourself that, what am I supposed to be getting here? then change is happening because that's when we're starting to learn how to learn. And as we learn, we share what we learn. And in turn, because the angst is lowered, the anger is lowered, the, or released, the, the whatever emotion or feeling that comes with that, we're able to release it sooner and move on. Then this uh, lesson goes on to talk about um, imagination. <laughs> and the, actually the three factors of reasoning, when you strengthen your imagination, it says, then your reasoning improves. And I love imagination. I love visualization. That's, that's my jam. But imagination. Being able to see yourself having what you actually want. Because once you get anything, your imagination is always working. There's always going to be another desire. <clears throat> and you picture yourself having it. Attention. Being able to put your attention on whatever it is you want and keep it there for as long as you want. That's the second factor of reasoning. And then there's memory. Just being able to pull from the past, from past memory, knowing that here I go. I'm, 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 I'm letting this emotion, this feeling, color the situation. What do I need to see? What can I learn? How can I do better? So this is my quick and dirty version of lesson 5A, learning how to learn. Um, I hope it intrigues you who want to learn more. Thank you.